if I've had everything you ever wanted and lost it in less than a blink of an eye, I have. My name is Bo Guitar, and this is my story. To reality where I'm like, do I really want to get another bike? Do I really want to put my mom through that? I'm having flashbacks, I can't do this, you know? I've always planned on it. I always wanted a bike, a motorcycle. And uh, everything was right. My mama was chill about it. I had the money. So on July 30th, I decided to go to the dealer, got it done. Everything was good, got it home, and just to have it in my garage was unbelievable. I would be watching TV or just sit in my room and just go to the garage and make sure she's still there. Just make sure it's reality. That's how much I was in love with her. But, uh... We are on around 10 o'clock at night. Uh, one of the homies, Elmer, hit me up. He was like, yo, man, let's chill out. We yeah, haven't chilled in a long time, and I was like, let's do this. So we met up in front of Stater Brothers. It was me, Nick, Carlo, and Elmer. And uh, Carlo was driving his uh, little Scion TC. And so I met up with them, and I was like, yeah, man, let's, you know, let's hang out, whatever. He's like, let's go to the beach. One of my cousins are in town, and she wants to you know, go. And I was like, all right, let's do this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take my bike. He's like, what? I was like, I'm going to take my bike because I want to... You know, I haven't been to the beach yet in my bike. He's like, dude, it's 10 o'clock, you know, no, no, no. I was like, fuck, dude, I'm gonna do it. Went home, got my stuff. Before I left, I got in a mad fight with my mom and my sister. I was just slamming stuff, cussing at them. I just, it was just a real bad vibe for me, you know? So then, I don't know what to do. I was just like, man, I gotta get out of here. So I just left. Nothing, no, no, no goodbye, no anything. And then, what I realized is that I got on that bike without praying. Anytime I get on the bike without praying, it's just it's just not right. I have to get off and pray before I get on it, like no matter what. So this time I didn't do that. I uh... The night that the accident happened, I was at a friend's house spending the night and the next day I was to go to San Diego for some school event. So around three o'clock, uh, my phone was ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and I thought it was a dream as it was my mom telling me that Flynn had gotten into an accident and um, my first question was, is he okay? And she said, as far as I know, he's alive. And um, all I wanted to do was just sweep up next to him and scare him, you know? Next thing I know, I wake up in the hospital. Four hours later, just paralyzed from the neck down. His headlights like wobbled me. So, like... Like from then on, like I was like, oh man, he's gonna hit us. Hit the car, and uh, I just remember him um, like flying through the air. What I saw is like forward, just like flew over the top of my car, going over, all over the freeway, sparks flying, bike on fire, lumber side face, and an ambulance kept coming in. It's like. It happened so fast that's like I can't even remember what happened in the middle of that until the ambulance came. In the air, kind of like Superman style, but then he like he went, he like tucked, and he hit the ground. And he just started rolling. We were find him like first, like there were no sounds, and so I was like, oh, he's probably fucking dead. So we went up, and then like he started like kind of like moaning. It's like one of those sounds, kind of like people say like haunt your nightmares. It's kind of like one of those noises. The story and it's like fuck every time I tell it over and over again dude it gets old and I get tired and I just fucking can't handle it no more dude I just want to go cry I'm all out of tears dog like the other day my sister gave me uh, she's a masseuse and she gave me a massage when she was actually releasing all the tension in my leg I had so many flashbacks I, I was just I don't know what the hell was happening and I just started tearing up and bawling like so when people sit there and tell me, are you ever going to get back on a bike again? And I tell them, yeah, they're like all mad and upset. And I'm like, you know, when you have a passion for something, you don't just drop it in a, you know, in a stupid little decision like that or, a, or an event. You keep on going. You prove to yourself and to everyone else that you can continue on what you're doing. I'll always have a good story to tell, though.
my story.